Hidden Object Guru here, back for a little more Hitman. So, after trying to do this mission cleanly more than a few times, uh, and uh, how shall I put this, running into a problem where it's buggy as hell if you try to play it online, which you shouldn't have to do, by the way, but of course you can only do challenges in the missions if uh, you're online. I want to point out that there's no good reason for that, but what are you going to do? Uh, so, we're going to now make all of the extras who are being paid to be part of this uh, teachable moment earn their paychecks. Which, what do you think? Assault rifle or shotgun? Uh, yeah, let's start with the shotgun. Uh, disguise justified. Good. This is not... We're not people who are going to worry about uh, legality. Oh, I can place items? That's so cool. I mean, I'm not going to do it now, but uh, that's so cool. Excuse me, sirs. Hey, that's right, I've got a shotgun. How weird is that, right? Boom. Oh, poor guys. Can I, can I reload this, or? What's the situation? How do I reload my shotgun? Uh, this actually is information I need to have right now. Are we gonna... Nope! Damn, though. Okay, I reloaded... Ow. Uh, how do I take cover? Oh, that's how I take cover. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, uh, the game neglected to tell me how to reload my gun. I feel like that's an oversight, just design-wise. Ah, who am I to judge? Oh, right, a reviewer. Uh, I like that they call you Initiate now, which kind of makes the International Contracts Agency sound like a cult. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe this is finally where we're going to find out what the, uh, the backdrop, background of these guys is. Okay, that's ducking, that's standing up, that's switching shoulders, which is nice. Hey, buddy. Whoa, that was gunshot. Yes, it was. It is really hard to fight one shot with this thing. Ooh, there's reload. Thank you. Ooh. Damn, though. All right. Uh, not only were was I completely unprepared for that gunfight, uh, they actually called me a lousy shot, so... I could pretend that didn't hurt, but that would be a lie. So, let's uh, give this one more go. Alright, uh, that's lots of ammo. Shotgun, please. So I can only pick one. Okay, well, it's not a surprise, per se, but right, let's try this again. You, sir, are going to get shot in the face. See, that worked fine. Oh, so uh, White Cross means... Uh, do, 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 do. No, not yet. Don't worry. Anybody else want some? Ah, that's my uh, secondary target. And now he's dead. Whoa. Well, you say innocent, but whoa, who else is shooting at me? Somebody on the boat? Anyway, I'm glad they appear on my mini map, which, ow. Ooh. Is it, is it, no, that dude. Oh, sucker. Oh, am I even hitting them? Alright. Uh. Ah, you didn't know I had access to a window. A little trick I picked up in... <laughs> Ouch! The Nam. Well, I got all of them. Uh, they got me too, but I did get all of them. This is, this is gonna go better. I got a good feeling about this one. The first two attempts... Three attempts? Three attempts... Yeah, they uh, they were iffy. We're gonna do better this time. I'll tell you why. Uh, professionalism, gonna be the watchword. So what I'm doing is do 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 do. Who, you're uh, you're worried about me, huh? We're gonna see if we can do a close range execution with the pistol. Uh, okay. Thank you. Close range execution. See, close range execution. That's what I'm talking about. So, this is going to be horrible, but 
You know what my first instinct was? Uh, I know what I'll do. I'll put on one of the comp uniforms and walk up with an assault rifle and just yell, Look out, there's a madman uh, shooting people. You know, run this way, it's safe. And then as people ran that way and thought it was safe, I would shoot them. And, uh, and then proceed to do that over and over again. <laughs> and, uh, and then I remembered that that's what that uh, Norwegian guy who killed all those children did. So, yeah, my first instinct for uh, how to effectively kill a bunch of strangers on a boat is how a real-life mass murderer killed a bunch of strangers on an island. Not, not loving me at the moment. Not at all. Damn. Do I have a health bar? I'm just supposed to know when I'm almost out of health. Is it the, the color change or something? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm seeing a little red at the edges of the screen, and it's not healing, so I, I don't think I have progressive health. Okay. So you guys keep shooting me from up on the boat, which... Oh! Yeah, I'd feel more sorry for these guys if they weren't working as security for, uh, for a murderous thief. Hey, I can do that and make the uh, security guards appear. Nice! All right. Wow, this snap to cover is is kind of garbage, because instead of going right up against the ow, wow, it takes a lot. Of, see, look at this. Like, this is supposed to be my creeping along the corner, right? But I go way past the corner. So yeah, uh, do not. You say that. I've got 45 shells left, and there's three of you. Oh, four of you. Wow, that was bad. Okay. Luckily, as I understand it, uh, bullets don't go through wood paneling, so we're in the advantage there. Oh, poor guy. Ow! Damn, though. These guys are good. Oh! Alright, that was the best I've done. So, mathematically speaking, I think my failure rate has to has to drop down now, right? No, actually that's not that's not logical at all. Okay. Here we go. Got a silenced pistol. I've got the most inconspicuous costume in the world. Cargo pants and a black turtleneck. Question Is that an Archer reference or a James Bond reference? I'll let uh I'll let you decide. Honestly, it can be both because Archer is dressed like that because of James Bond. He did not invent the uh, tactical turtleneck. Okay. Okay. That's two. And there's two more up there on the catwalk. I don't think I can hit them at this range. So now we're going to do the... like. We're not going to uh, do the full thing. But we are going to dress up. So, here's something I miss. See how my the pistol's in my hand there? And this is a nice detail that the earlier Hitman games got that this one seems to have forgotten about. What uh, Agent 47 used to do is when he would walk around with just a pistol, you couldn't do this with an assault rifle, obviously, just a pistol in his hand, he would hold it behind his back a little, but unobtrusively, so that anyone looking at him would think, oh, it's just a guy walking towards me. But if a guy got too close, Boom, he would know it was an assault rifle and uh, he'd be in a lot of trouble. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow. I am not good at shooting. Oof. Although, to be fair, I mean, this gun does have quite a recoil on it. Uh. As I wish someone had warned me about that. And, uh. And if you can tell me what that's a reference to, boom! Uh, you win a prize. Someone warning me. I wish someone had warned me about the recoil on that gun. Is, is that a reference you get? If you can figure it out, boom! Prize. Top comment on this video. Guess that reference. And uh, we'll figure out a prize situation for you. Here we go. I should probably reload at some point. Could have sw Oh, crap. 
Oh. What you guys forgot was that I can go around corners just as easily as you can. Oh, damn. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. I feel like there might be too many guards on this uh, boat. Like an unrealistically large number of guards. But that being said, you know, check your corners. Uh, is that is that a guard or is that just a guy? Well, either way, he's getting shot. Oh, these poor guys who don't know I'm sneaking up behind them. I would feel sorry for them, but again, they they work for a murderous jewel thief, so... Oh, that was not a guard. Well, I mean, aren't you all really civilians? It's not like you guys are in the army. Or you're not even police officers. You're just security guards. So, no, I think it's fine to refer to all of you as civilians. So it is not any better that... I'm shooting you than where I'd be shooting just them. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was just a reflex. Sorry. Ah, now I have transformed myself into a bodyguard. And I'm going to be carrying the Bartoli pistol that bodyguards carry. So no one's going to realize anything has gone wrong. Where did he go? I think he went that way. <laughs> oh, God, I'm enjoying this too much. Uh, all right, so here's the the real question: Did that guy have time to say, uh, you know, oh, uh, he's dressed as a bodyguard now, or are we good? The one another thing I liked about previous Hitman games: uh, just satisfying gunfire this time. I got to give him that. Uh, that I liked about previous Hitman games and kind of miss here is the uh, uh, he, the police are looking for sorry, uh, guards are looking for a suspicious blah blah blah. And that was a nice little heads up when your costume had been compromised. So can I not go right any further? Hey guys, don't mind me, just... Apparently, no, I can't, uh... Yeah, you do need a cop over here. Although, I don't particularly like the swearing, mister. If if I were able to identify which one of you guys did that, uh, was swearing like that, I would probably murder you. Seriously, I don't know why the... Oh, why are you people not fleeing? Here, let me uh, help you with that. Flee! Like, are we not? And here is the... Okay, FYI, there's a gangplank right there. Okay, um, I am not blown away by Hitman's vaunted AI. Like, I know you're having trouble reconciling the fact that it's a bodyguard shooting things over and over and over again, but you you have to have noticed that you can just leave, right? Like, you have that ability. I think this is one of those situations, again, where uh, all of these people... Remember, um, that was a weird reference to make, but you remember uh, Hitman Blood Money? There was that one level set in a... Uh, at Mardi Gras. Which, of course, would be repeated by the uh, the club scene in Kane and Lynch, where they were so proud of the fact that they had had this, you know, crowd dynamic. Uh, anybody see that, or are we good? No, it's... Uh, no, I think we're good. Uh, there was this, you know, they were so impressed by this crowd dynamic that... Oh, sorry. I, I seriously thought you were a guard. Uh, but my point is... Did, oh, he's not dead! Yay! Run away now, please. Uh, no, not a guard. I think I've killed all the guards. That's a plus. Anyway, you could move through the crowds, and the crowds would react dynamically, and it was great, but they weren't... You know, none of the people in the crowds were... people. If you know what I mean. Like, none of them reacted in anything approaching a believable fashion. Oh, there he is. And it was kind of frustrating. And here it's the same thing. They're like... In every level, a dozen guys who will react dynamically to what you're doing. You know, security guards, um, criminals, things like that, who will see what you're doing and react dynamically. And everyone else is just a human prop. They will stand around. They will make small talk. You know, they will do a tiny bit of things here and there. But by and large, bang. Uh, but by and large, they're, they're just not real. 
Like, they won't run away. They won't... They're attached to a location, and they will stay there. Now, to be fair, this is just the training mission. Yeah. And see? Like, these people have kind of gone back to milling about. And I can fire wildly into the crowd. And they will, they will freak out. But they will stay in their designated freak-out area. They're certainly not running away from me. Ugh. Oh. This is kind of upsetting, actually. It's kind of... It's called self-preservation, people, and... I want you to look into it. Because... And again... Alright, well, now instead of just upsetting myself further, I'm gonna leave the level. But I think I've pointed out a, a valuable truth... Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you, it's just I weirded out by, like, triplets and such. Oh my god, are you seriously being saved by lack of bullets? Uh, no, you're not. But you almost were? You were almost saved by lack of bullets. She absolutely was, because there's no way I could have been confident that I could have uh, f killed her in just two bullets. And one, and... Ooh, is it? Is he staying down? Now he's staying down. Now I le legit am out of bullets. A bad person would go and get the shotgun and uh, just continue experimenting with the crew, but the fact that they have no sense of self-preservation just has made me sad. Boop. Like, really sad. So, let's see how we were graded on uh, the, uh, the Yacht Massacre. <laughs> uh, I've got to say, and I know this is a creepy thing to enjoy... Mission accomplished. Okay. Grading, please. Oh. You're not going to have to do any grading. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to hook the internet back up and uh, see what the challenges are. But yeah, that is unimpressive. I will do... Uh, I'll come back with another video soon to... Uh, actually, probably go up right around the same time as this one with me... Uh, checking out and playing around with the the first mission but uh yeah i'm not i'm not stunned by the uh the talent on display in this one guys like you've you've made a pretty world filled it with pretty people but it it's they really are just props like how hard is it and i mean i've seen other games do this how hard is it to say uh so let's say that fence there right behind the car that is exit point right and have all of the guys, all of the people on the boat, just say, oh my god, we've got to get to exit point the second they start hearing shooting. And then you set off a B exit point off the back of the boat if the shooting is coming from the gangplank. Or C exit point by there. And you set up three exit points, you program all those guys to run for it, and then they just run for it. And they're, you know, programmed to, if there's an obstruction, me between them and the exit point A, they go to exit point B, and blah, 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 blah. Is that really so difficult to program, guys? Uh, you know, it probably is. I'm super naive about the kind of work that goes into crowd dynamic AI. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at this guy. See him here? Uh, playing on his cell phone? Yeah. Fun part about this part of the game? Uh, it is set... <coughs> excuse me. It is set in the year 1996. So, let's all just be puzzled. Like, legit... This is set five years before the start of Hitman's Hitman Codename 47. And he is playing around on a, uh, a cell phone. So I'm going to do to him what you should do with all time travelers from the future. And you may ask, what is my problem with time travelers from the future? Well, they tend to have really super smug attitudes about, uh, you know, how they're from the future and all of us are long dead by the time they were born. And uh, I, just, I like to teach them a thing or two. So I've been <laughs> Hogaru trying to see how uh, the Hitman team, team? The, the Hitman team programmed in reactions to mass violence. And the answer is they, they neglected to do that. All right. <laughs> see you back here next.